Today is a good day in the serverless community, particularly for those that use AWS Lambda functions. And let's be honest, that's probably about 90% of you or so. Now, AWS just announced Graviton 2-based processor support for Lambda functions. Traditionally, or previously, you only had the option of using x86 Intel-based processors for your compute in AWS Lambda. Now, Graviton 2 processors are custom in-house processors developed by AWS themselves. Technically, it's by a company that AWS acquired, but that's neither here nor there. Now, in terms of why Graviton 2 is a good thing, well, they have a lower energy footprint, they have better performance, and they're essentially just optimized for cloud-based computing. So applying this to AWS Lambda, users can either adjust their existing Lambda functions to use Graviton 2, or they can select Graviton 2 for their new functions that they create. Now, the big news is that you get a 20% lower cost from the duration component of the Lambda cost model. So as you may remember, the Lambda cost model consists of a couple main components. Uh, the first one is the amount of memory you provision, second is the number of executions, and the third really big one is duration. So now for that duration component, you're gonna get 20% lower costs. Now, in addition to that, that's not all. In addition to that, you're gonna get 19% better performance. Now, AWS did put a little asterisk beside that 19%. They're saying that those of you that are using multi-threading in your Lambda functions are probably gonna get the full 19% boost, but those of you that aren't are still gonna get a boost, but it may just not be that 19%. So as a exploratory, let's test this thing out engineer, I decided to put together a quick little example to test this thing out, see if I got that 19% or not. So what I did is I created a Lambda function on Graviton2, just computing the Fibonacci sequence. And I also created a normal Lambda function that did the same thing, ran the same code, and then just basically hammered these Lambda functions with requests over the course of 15 minutes or so. And here are the results. So in this chart, the blue line represents the normal x86-based function, and the orange line represents the Graviton2-based function. Both functions are running the exact same set of Fibonacci code. You can see here that the orange line or Graviton2 is consistently lower than the normal one. I averaged out all the data points and the normal function's average latency was 437 milliseconds and the Graviton2 was 384 milliseconds. That's a 12% difference between the two. In other words, the Graviton2 based function was 12% faster than the normal x86 one. Now the Graviton2 based option is already supported for both CloudFormation and CDK, so those of you that are using infrastructure as code can easily switch over from using one over the other. I hope this video was useful and thanks so much for watching.